back to my channel. So I just filmed a look on this look right here. It's just like kind of my no makeup makeup look, kind of an everyday simple fresh face thing. Um, so if you wanted to check that out, go to last week's video. That's where it'll be. Um, but I figured since I'm about to get ready for bed anyways, ready to relax for the night, I would take y'all with me, show you my nighttime routine, um, plus my skincare, and I'll just let y'all know how I'm feeling about the products that I'm using currently and stuff like that. So if you want to see that, then stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave comments down below telling me what y'all want to see next, um, next week's video, and stuff like that. So let's get started. Alright, so first I'm going to start by taking off all my makeup with just my Neutrogena um, makeup wipes. And I've always used these. They're like the only thing I've ever used. I love them so much. Okay, so now I am putting um, the Pixi Skin Treats Glow Mud Cleanser all over my face. And I'm just going to wash my face like I usually would. I love this stuff. I've only been using it for about a week, but it really makes my face feel super nice and clean. Okay, and now I'm done in the bathroom, so I'm just going to move to my room. And first I'm going to use my Origins Toner. This is the United State Balancing Tonic. And I've used this for uh, probably like three months. This is the first bottle I've used of it, and I really, really, really love this. I usually just go over my face once or twice, depending on how dirty my face was. Um, usually the cleanser will have gotten most off, but I only do it uh, till the little towel is clean. And then I'm going to use my um, Indie Beauty Buttercream, uh, and this is a lip scrub. And I really like this one because it has more of like the moisturizing thing than it does the scrub. And the reason I like that is because I use this toothbrush to exfoliate my lips, and I really rely on that more than the scrubs that are in the product. So I just put a thick, nice thick layer of this lip scrub on, and then go ahead and exfoliate but my allergies are really bad during the nighttime, so it's like the worst because my nose is stuffed up and I have to breathe through my mouth, and so my lips get really dry, so I do that every night. Um, then I'm just going to go and put some coconut oil on them just while they're resting. Okay, so this stuff is so cool. I got it in my Ipsy Glam Bag. It is the Ladykin Snail Cream, and it comes in this cute little uh, snail container, and it actually has like real snail juice in it. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like the actual stuff that the snail secretes, which is kind of weird to me, but I've only been using it for about a week and a half, so I'll let you know how my skin is feeling after I use this longer. And so now I'm just dropping my uh, Pixie Overnight Glow Serum on, and I love this stuff. I seriously wake up, and in the morning, my face is like a new face. It's so awesome. I love it a lot. You can tell I like it. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my chamomile oil. This is just an essential oil I picked up from Walmart. And I'm going to put that all over my lips as well. Chamomile is really good for moisture. So I really like to just pile on the moisturizer products on my lips at night. And I also put this around my nose because I get a little bit dry there also. Alright, so I just wanted to sit down and talk about a couple of face masks that I use. Um, in my skincare routine, um, it kind of just depends on how my skin is that day or if I've been noticing something different, you know, just I kind of measure which one I'm going to use based on how it is that day. And um, I only try to do face masks maybe three times a week max because I do have some sensitive skin and if I put a mask on it every single night, it will start to break out, it will kind of do the opposite effect. So I'm just going to talk about the three masks that I mainly use um, that I like to switch between, again, depending on how my skin is that day. So the first one I'll talk about is the Clinique um, City Block Purifying Charcoal Mask. This stuff is the bomb. First you put the mask on and it'll harden. Um, uh, it'll harden into like a really pretty light gray-gray kind of blue color. To take it off you just use warm water. And you kind of lather it on your face a little bit. And then I like to use it as an exfoliant also. It says clay mask plus scrub, so I think that's what it's supposed to be. So once I get it wet, I like to go and just kind of exfoliate my face with it as well. You take it off and you're like, oh my gosh, 
I just got a new set of skin. It's crazy. So good. I do notice that it clears my pores out also. It doesn't really shrink them like I would like them to, but it does do a great job of just really deep cleansing my face and getting rid of all that dead skin. I love this. Love it. Okay, so the next one I'm going to talk about is the Clinique Even Better Brightening Moisture Mask. And this one I love to use if I am feeling pretty lazy and I don't want to go back and wash my face after I apply a mask. So this one is kind of like a moisturizer. So you want to apply a thick layer all over your face. I usually put it um, in my T-zone area, so I'll do my forehead under my eyes. And I'll try to get pretty close up here since it is a brightening mask. I do like to brighten under my eyes a lot. So just kind of like a medium size, medium thickness of layer thickness of layer. A medium sized layer. A medium... you know what I mean. So I just put that all over my face and I let it sit for about 10 minutes. I think it's what it says here. Yeah, 5 to 10 minutes. And then you'll notice it starts to turn less opaque. So it's going to be super white when you put it on your face. It's going to slowly turn into kind of a clear, clearish white color. And then um, it does have the option to lather and rinse it off, or you can just wipe off the excess after 10 minutes. And then I like to rub in any remaining um, product into my skin just for that extra boost. And this one's awesome. Like I said, I use this one probably the most just because I am super lazy when it comes to skincare, which I know is pretty bad, but I will use this one the most. I'll probably use this one like two times a week, and then I'll alternate between these other two that I, this other one I'm about to show you and the Clinique uh, City Block one probably like also two times so I'll say four times a week I do a mask all right and then the last one is this hidden gem diamond in the rough let me tell you it's called the brightening face mask and it's got argan stem cell and chlorella chlorella I'm not sure what chlorella is, but argan stem cell sounds good to me. It's kind of like green and muddy. It, when you put it on, it's like the classic green face mask look, you know? So I just like to put a thin layer of this all over my face, and then I'll let it sit for about 10 minutes, probably 20. I get, like I said, distracted on YouTube or something like that. So I will keep this on for quite a while. And then when I take this off, I love it because it gets super, super lathery. So I'll get it a little bit wet and just kind of scrub it until it turns a little bit white. And then I will get it really wet after I do that and then just lather it up and wash my face with it. It is the best feeling thing. The first time I used this mask, I was like blown away. My skin was so soft afterwards. It felt plump. It felt renewed. I honestly didn't notice much of brightening right away. Mostly I just noticed how soft my skin was and how plump and healthy it felt. I cannot rave more about this mask. And like I said, I saw it at Target for like seven bucks, I think. I'll list it in the description box down below, but I'm really excited to try more of this Acure Brands stuff because they've got some good thoughts so far for me. The directions say, apply evenly over the face until you look like a green sea monster. <laughs> Check. Alrighty, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Maybe it gave you some ideas on products you'd like to try out for your skincare routine. Don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And also, leave a comment down below and tell me what skincare products you guys use because I have been on the hunt for some new products. I've been using these kind of um, periodically for a while now and I'd like to maybe mix it up so leave a comment down below telling me that and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you can get updated on all the new videos that i believe i'll be posting i've got a lot planned a lot coming up so i hope you guys have a great night great day a great lunch time whatever time it is that you're watching this have a great time look at this tragedy no this highlighting palette i have noticed